Hi, my name's Diane Hubbard of Green Footsteps and this is my shepherd's hut, or at least it will be my shepherd's hut. I think I need to explain why I've ended up trying to build a low energy shepherd's hut. I'm trying to build a passive house. I'm a passive house consultant, but things are taking more time and I need some temporary accommodation. I looked at a caravan and thought there must be something better than this to do. My sister decided she wants a shepherd's hut, maybe. So I sort of thought, well, I could build a shepherd's hut to live in instead of a caravan, then pass it on to her afterwards. So this is how I've ended up with the hut behind me. So what I'd like to do is to talk a bit more about the hut itself. I have very few practical skills, so I had to look at an option that would enable me to do something that's reasonably energy efficient and reasonably airtight. I must emphasise that we're not talking about passive house for this, we're just talking about reasonable U values and a good level of airtightness. I, I just don't want to be in that horrible caravan situation of things being wet and loads of condensation in the middle of winter. So what I've got here is it's actually the frame itself for the shepherd's hut. It's a pre-cut frame and you basically slot and glue the frame together. And then what I'm doing is I'm focusing on trying to get good levels of insulation inside and to have a good level of air tightness and to have a wind tight outer layer to try and keep things reasonably cosy. I'm using natural materials where I can. I'm very interested in trying to reduce my carbon footprint, so I'm using materials that, that sequester carbon as, as well.